Hey, good evening everyone. I figured today's uh, review would be about the uh, much anticipated Ocean's 8, which is the uh, female uh, centric, centric uh, spin-off of the Ocean's um, trilogy, you know, that George uh, Clooney did. This time around, the story focuses on um, Danny's sister, you know, Debbie Ocean, played by Sandra Bullock. And, you know, of course, you know, in this particular one, you know, since the events of the Oceans trilogy, Danny uh, passed away, but, I don't, but the film doesn't say how. And, of course, you know, Debbie's released from prison after, you know, five, after nearly six years, you know, when one of her ex-boyfriends, Becker, set up for, like, insurance fraud. And then, of course, you know, Debbie plans to steal this rare Toussaint necklace, which is worth $150 million at the Met Gala. You know, event, you know, and one of the celebrities that have that would be wearing it is Daphne Kluger. And then, of course, you know, Lou, um, Debbie Recruits old crew, you know, her girlfriend Lou. And then there's, you know, suburban mom Tammy. And then there's um, Nita's character. And then we got, um, you know, Rihanna's character, Nimbo, whose, you know, real name is Leslie, who's a computer hacker. And then we got um, Constance's character, who's a, like a, you know, like a thief of a thief of sorts, and then you know we have um, let's see here. oh yeah, so that pretty much you know includes the oh yeah, and of course Rosewell, you know played by Helen and Barnham Carter who's a fashion uh, designer, you know as as part of the as part of the heist to steal the necklace, and of course you know you know there's also the the insurance investigator. James Frazier who tries to catch the gang, you know, when they switch out the, the you know, the, the real necklace for the fake one. And then, of course, there's also surprise cameos from previous uh, cast members from the Oceans trilogy, which I thought was a rather nice homage to see that the events of the Oceans 8 take place after the events of, uh, you know, the Oceans trilogy, which I thought was pretty nice. And, you know, I thought, you know, Sandra Bullock did a decent job portraying, uh, you know, the Debbie Ocean character, but I kind of wish she was just a little bit more likable since, you know, that's one of the things I liked about Danny, you know, George Clooney playing Danny Ocean, you know, he was a thief and all, but he was actually pretty likable. Um, uh, one of the few things I would say that I kind of wish the film developed, you know, the female characters a little bit more, particularly the relationship between, you know, Debbie and Lou and also, of course, the other characters, including Amita and, of course, you know, Tammy and Rose. And, you know, Constance and, you know, Leslie as well. But I would say surprisingly the film was good because of the camaraderie between, you know, the female characters and I guess the lighthearted approach to the film, which seems to work. So I would definitely give it like, I'd say like probably like a nine, nine, nine out of ten for the enjoyment of the film in itself. So, and of course, for those that have seen the George Clooney trilogy, which I did, you know, so I figured... Yeah, it's good, you know, it's like one of those, you know, good caper movies, I suppose. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and look forward to sharing the, the next one, which is the uh, Jurassic World, you know, Fallen Kingdom, the fifth installment of Jurassic Park, and of course The Incredibles 2, which I know is very much anticipated. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.